Excel supports two date systems, the 1900 and 1904 date system, which can pose potential problems in financial modeling. The 1900 date system is synonymous with Microsoft Excel for Windows, whilst Excel for Mac Apple applies the 1904 date system. The following worksheet listing CapEx was created in Excel for Mac. This can be verified by going to File, Options, Advanced and scrolling down to when calculating this workbook. As we can see, the Use 1904 Date System is checked. If we uncheck this and click OK, we can see the invoice date in column D, which is formatted with the text function, has changed by about four years. However, the serial number is unchanged in column C. We are going to return to File, Options, Advanced, and again scrolling down to when calculating this workbook. We will recheck the box inside Use 1904 Date System. As you can see, the serial number is unchanged in column C. However, the invoice date in column D has reverted back to the correct date. To better illustrate the potential date format problem, we will go to the Excel workbook that is referencing these North America CapEx transactions. This is clear to see with the export worksheet flowing into the second workbook. Hence, the source workbook will be closed. We will move into the second workbook, which is formatted to the 1900 date system. This is the default format for Microsoft Excel, which most financial models are created and built in. The model import worksheet lists all the 2014 CapEx for the North American Business Unit. Note in the 1904 date system format. In the CapEx Microsoft Excel worksheet, we are aggregating CapEx across all business units. Hence, we want to itemize each CapEx spent for North America. We want to reference invoice date, bracket serial number, column C, invoice date in column D, but we will not reference the import worksheet. Description in column E because we want to know the details of the CapEx spend. And in column F, the amount confirmed. Returning to column C, I want to reference the corresponding serial number date in the model import sheet. To highlight how a financial model, model can suffer date referencing problems, we will convert the serial number in cell C10, 40197, into text date format in cell D10. In our Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, using the date 1900 date system, this serial number 40197 is now computing to a text date format of 19th of January 2010. However, previously this date was referencing the 20th of January 2014 in the Excel for Mac model import worksheet, the 1904 date system. Here is a quick explanation of the 1900 date system and the 1904 date system. The first date with the 1900 date system is the 1st of January 1900 whilst it is the 1st of January 1904 for the 1904 system. The default date system is 1900 in Microsoft Excel, but Excel for Mac applies 1904. The serial date number of 41659 computes to two differing dates under the two date systems. Hence a certain date, for example, 20th of January 2014 is denoted by a different serial number under the two date systems. Turning to the example, we will continue to reference our columns. We can now fill down the contents of the other line items.
We just need to reformat the serial numbers in column C from date to general format. We can see our Microsoft Excel financial model, which uses the 1900 date system, is computing a different date for all these CapEx transactions. Compared to the model import sheet, which was based on the 1904 date system. To highlight this, let's again go to the File, Options, Advanced. Once again, scroll down to When Calculating This Workbook. Check the box beside Use 1904 Date System. We can see the corresponding invoice date in column D has changed the correct date as per the model import sheet. However, we prefer to stick to the Microsoft Excel default 1900 date system, and so we will revert back to this setting. To solve the conundrum with the date systems, we will create a second invoice date column in column E. We will label these columns accordingly to avoid confusion. The invoice dates in column E must be increased by the delta of the two date systems. There are some important things to remember when converting from 1904 to 1900 date format. There is a difference of 1,462 days between the two date formats. Thus, we must add 1,462 to any 1904-based serial number or date, if moving to a 1900-based financial model. In cell E10, we will add 1,462 to the reference cell C10. If we now return to the model import sheet, we can see our 1900 base date format financial model is referencing the correct date. We can fill down this formula range to realise the correct dates.